How's it going everybody? So today, I've got a parcel with my name on it. So this parcel is from Facebook, a Facebook seller. His name, funnily enough, is almost the same as mine. So this is from Roy Steverwald. He is Queensland based and he sells a bit of everything by the looks of things, whatever he can get his hands on. So this is a $250 parcel I've ordered from him. He said it's a mix of Cooper PD and Lightning Ridge. There'll be some white opal and some grey base opal. And yeah, so for 250 bucks, we'll see, we'll see what we get. I've already cut it open to save on time. And we've got two, two pouches. All right, so it looks like it's been split up into the white opal and the grey base. Some of the grey is pretty, pretty dark. I think first things first, we'll start off with weights. So this is meant to be about 150 white, so... Right, it's about 160, just under. And 225 grey. And we're more looking at... 230, 240, somewhere around there. It's not very accurate, but that's okay. So we've gotten what we've what we've paid for in weight at least. We'll start with the white half. We'll just chuck them in a tub of water, I reckon. It's the easiest way to have a look. And straight away I'm seeing some insane, insane level of colour here. I mean, this is a fairly small piece, but have a look at that. I could probably increase some lighting. I've got two different lights here, so I can see what it looks like under each of them. I think it's better when both of them are on. This overhead daylight LED is pretty good. But we'll just chuck both of them on. This is a bigger piece. Still some pretty insane colour. It gets a bit thin over this side because of that chip that's come into it, but that's a bit unfortunate. The colour bar would have been that thick all the way through by the looks of things. But I don't know, I might be able to get one thin stone out, out of that half and then a massive thick stone out of this one. But broadly speaking, out of this pack of white, Every stone is quite remarkable. Yeah, this is this is actually a lot better, a lot better than I thought I was going to get. He's a real nice guy. If yeah, have a chance to have a chat with him. He's actually scary similar to me. So some twilight. Twilight Zone kind of X-Files level of similarity between us. So it wasn't just the first name that we had in common. And yeah, we get along like a house on fire and I'm so glad that he's, that the rough he's sent me is top notch. We'll put the, we'll put the white to the side, zoom back out a bit. And we'll dump the gray base in the other half of the tub. All right. So we've got a bit more of the grey. So I just reposition slightly. Oh. I mean, this piece in particular is a bit crystally. It's just a bit of a darker crystal. But that's got some serious colour in it. This one's not revealing too much, but just a quick shot at the edges. You can see that there's a nice color bar, color bar going right through the middle of it. And I'm sure that red extends all the way through to here and it's fairly straight. Not very thick, but fairly straight. I reckon there's heaps of potential in some of these. Some pretty good color. Oh, a really flat color bar all the way across this one. I can't quite see what the uh, camera's picking up because of the glare from the lamp just above it. 
but if you're seeing anywhere near what I'm seeing, there are some amazing pieces. There's a tiny little fragment, and even that's got a bit of colour. Must have chipped off one of them. Bit of a crooked colour bar, but still heaps of colour. Not a single piece in this parcel was disappointed at all. This one's probably got the least amount of colour out of the lot, and it's still a pretty nice, pretty nice cutter. Bit of an unusual colour bar on that one. And yeah, that's the last piece. So, all in all, that is an incredible parcel for 250 bucks. And I basically just said to him, I'll just take whatever you've, whatever you've got, whatever you can sell. This was actually only half of what I initially had planned. I was planning a $500 order, but because of Corona and money reasons, I've gone and scaled back to 250. So the other half of this parcel is still in his hands. If someone gets in touch with him and picks it up, I won't be too, too upset about it. But if no one picks that up, I'll probably snag it in the next couple of weeks anyway. So yeah, I'll, I'm hoping I've flashed up his Facebook and Instagram towards the start of this video, but if not, I'll do it now. He seems to do most of his selling on Facebook. He's on a lot of the Opal pages, the Opal Australia rough pages and all of that kind of stuff. So you might see his name pop up a bit. And otherwise he does have an Instagram as well, which I'll put up a picture of. And yeah, he sells rough rubs, cuts. He posts internationally and at the moment you might see if he pops up on Facebook there's someone so, someone disagreeing with him and saying that he's a scam artist or something because he hasn't sent through sent through a parcel but this got to me the day after I ordered it so I don't know what's happened to that guy I think he's just been a bit impatient and having a lack of understanding when it comes to postage in today's climate where things are kind of slowed down to a crawl but yeah I've had no problems with him chatting with him's easy putting an order together like this I just sent him the money through PayPal and yeah 250 bucks worth of opals rocked up the next day so I really can't say anything bad about him and if this is a sign of things to come I'll be doing more orders through him for sure so yeah check him out on Facebook if you can find him um, he seems to get material each month, so if you're lucky, you'll be able to snag something as good as this. So yeah, I'm going to get started working on some of these, probably this PC here first, and I'll see you in the next video.